Hey friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video, we will be discussing important question and answers of different nursing comparative examinations. Guys, let's get started. Here is our first question. 1. During a prenatal visit, a client at 36 weeks gestation tells a nurse that she has painful, irregular contractions. What should the nurse recommend? A. Lie down until they stop. B. Time them for at least one hour. C. Walk around until they subside. D. Take one over the counter analgesic. The answer is option C. Walk around until they subside. 2. A healthcare provider prescribes Losartan, Kozar, for a client. Which is the most important nursing action? A. Assess the client for hypokalemia. B. Ensure that the medication is ingested with food. C. Monitor the client's blood pressure during therapy. D. Teach that a missed dose can be doubled at the next scheduled time. The answer is option C, monitor the client's blood pressure during therapy. 3. During the postpartum period a nurse identifies that a client's rubella titer is negative, what action should the nurse plan to take? A. Check for allergies to penicillin. B. Alert the staff in the newborn nursery. C. Assure the client that she has active immunity. D. Obtain a prescription for an immunization before discharge. The answer is option D, obtain a prescription for an immunization before discharge. 4. An infant with hydrocephalus has a ventriculoperitoneal, VP, shunt surgically inserted. What nursing care is essential during the first 24 hours after this procedure? A. Medicating the infant for pain. B. Placing the infant in a high fowler position. C. Positioning the infant on the side that has the shunt. D. Monitoring the infant for increasing intracranial pressure. The answer is option D. Monitoring the infant for increasing intracranial pressure. 5. An older adult is hospitalized for weight loss and dehydration because of nutritional deficits. What should the nurse consider when caring for this client? A. Financial resources usually are unrelated to nutritional status. B. An older adult's daily fluid intake must be markedly increased. C. The client's diet should be high in carbohydrates and low in proteins. D. The nutritional needs of an older adult are unchanged except for a decreased need for calories. The answer is option D. The nutritional needs of an older adult are unchanged except for a decreased need for calories. 6. A healthcare provider orders peak and trough levels of an antibiotic for a client who is receiving vancomycin 4 piggyback, IVPB. When should a blood sample be obtained to determine a peak level of the antibiotic? A. Anytime it is convenient for the client. B. Between 30 and 60 minutes after a dose. C. Halfway between two doses of the drug. D. At 30 minutes before the medication is administered. The answer is option B. Between 30 and 60 minutes after a dose. 7. A nurse is teaching a client who has arthritis about the steroid medication prescribed by the healthcare provider. Which client's statement about why it is important to take steroid medication at mealtimes indicates that the teaching was effective? A. The presence of food will enhance the medication's absorption. B. Taking it with meals serves as a reminder to take the medication. 
C. Food will help decrease the gastric irritation effect of the medication. D. The acid medium in the presence of food makes the medication more effective. The answer is option C, food will help decrease the gastric irritation effect of the medication. 8. What is the priority nursing intervention on admission of a prima gravida in labor? A. Monitoring the fetal heart rate. B. Asking the client when she ate last. C. Obtaining the client's health history. D. Determining if the membranes have ruptured. The answer is option A, monitoring the fetal heart rate. 9. An external monitor is placed on the abdomen of a client admitted in active labor. The nurse identifies that during each contraction, the fetal heart rate decelerates as the contraction peaks. What should the nurse do next? A. Help the client to a knee chest position to avoid cord compression. B. And notify the healthcare provider because of possible head compression. C. To monitor the fetal heart rate until it returns to baseline when the contraction ends. D. Place the client in a semi-fowler position to prevent compression of the vena cava. The answer is option C. Monitor the fetal heart rate until it returns to baseline when the contraction ends. 10. A nurse is caring for a client with the diagnosis of bulimia nervosa. The nurse understands that individuals with bulimia use food to a, gain attention, b. control others, c. avoid growing up, d. meet emotional needs. The answer is option D, meet emotional needs. 11. A client is admitted with a diagnosis of chronic adrenal insufficiency when assigning a room. Which roommate should be avoided because of the newly admitted client's condition? A young adult client with pneumonia. B. Adolescent client with a fractured leg. C. Middle-aged client who has cholecystitis. D. Older adult client who has had a brain attack. The answer is option Young adult client with pneumonia. 12. While on a hike, a rusty nail pierces the sole of an adolescent's foot and the adolescent is brought to the emergency department of a local hospital. Tetanus immune globulin is prescribed because the adolescent does not know when the last tetanus immunization was received. The nurse administers the prescribed dose of tetanus immune globulin and explains that it provides a. Lifelong passive immunity. B. Long-lasting active protection. C. Immediate passive short-term immunity. D. Stimulation for the production of antibodies. The answer is option C. Immediate passive short-term immunity. 13. A nurse is caring for a client with Addison disease. What should the nurse teach the client to do regarding an appropriate diet? A. Add extra salt to food. B. Limit intake to 1200 calories. C. Omit protein foods at each meal. D. Restrict the daily intake of fluids to 1 liter. The answer is option A. Add extra salt to food. 14. What response should a nurse be particularly alert for when assessing a client for side effects of long-term cortisone therapy? A. Hypoglycemia. B. Severe anorexia. C. Behavioral changes. D. Anaphylactic shock.
The answer is option C, behavioral changes. 15. A nurse observes that an infant has head control and can roll over but can neither sit up without support nor transfer an object from one hand to the other. What developmental age should the nurse estimate based on these observations? A. 1 to 2 months. B. 3 to 4 months. C. 5 to 6 months. D. 8 to 9 months. The answer is option C, 5 to 6 months. 16. A healthcare provider prescribes milrinone, Primacor, for a client with a diagnosis of congestive heart failure who is unresponsive to conventional drug therapy. What is most important for the nurse to do first? A. Administer the loading dose over 10 minutes. B. Monitor the ECG continuously for dysrhythmias during infusion. C. Assess the heart rate and blood pressure continuously during infusion. D. Have the order, dosage calculations, and pump settings checked by a second nurse. The answer is option D. Have the order, dosage calculations and pump settings checked by a second nurse. 17. A nurse plans care for a client with a somatoform disorder based on the understanding that it is a. a physiologic response to stress b. a conscious defense against anxiety c. an intentional attempt to gain attention d. an unconscious means of reducing stress. The answer is option D. An unconscious means of reducing stress. 18. During a group therapy session, some members accuse a client of intellectualizing to avoid discussing feelings. The client asks whether the nurse agrees with the others. What is the nurse's best response? A. It seems that way to me, too. B. What is your perception of my behavior? C. Are you uncomfortable with what you were told? D. I'd rather not give my personal opinion at this time. The answer is option C. Are you uncomfortable with what you were told? 19. A client is admitted to the post-anesthesia care unit after an abdominal hysterectomy. Which assessment should the nurse report to the healthcare provider immediately? A. Apical pulse of 90. B. Decreased urinary output. C. Increased drainage from the nasogastric tube. D. Serosanguineous drainage on the perineal pad one hour after surgery. The answer is option B. Decreased urinary output. 20. A client rescued from a burning building has partial and full thickness burns over 40% of the body, which is the initial physiologic change that the nurse can expect. A. An increase in blood volume. B. An increase in serum potassium. C. A decrease in capillary permeability. D. A decrease in urinary specific gravity. The answer is option B. An increase in serum potassium. 21. A nurse is caring for a newly admitted client who has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and has a history of hyperactivity and combativeness. Later in the evening, a commotion is heard, and this client is found hitting another client. What are the legal implications of this situation? A. The client should have been placed in restraints on admission. B. A client who is known to have been combative should have been kept sedated. C. A client with bipolar disorder who is in contact with reality does not require supervision. D. Because it was known that the client was frequently combative, close observation by the nursing staff was indicated.
The answer is option D. Because it was known that the client was frequently combative, close observation by the nursing staff was indicated. 22. While the nurse is talking to a hypermanic client, the client's conversation becomes vulgar. How should the nurse respond to the client's behavior? A. Tactfully teasing the client about the use of such vulgarity. B. Restricting the client's contact with staff members until the behavior stops. C. Asking the client to limit the use of vulgarity while continuing the conversation. D. Discreetly refusing to talk to the client when the client is speaking in this manner. The answer is option C, asking the client to limit the use of vulgarity while continuing the conversation. 23. A nurse is teaching a 10-year-old child with type 1 diabetes about insulin requirements. When should the nurse explain that insulin needs will decrease? A. Puberty is reached. B. Infection is present. C. Emotional stress occurs. D. Active exercise is performed. The answer is option D, active exercise is performed. 24. On which concern should the nurse focus when caring for a client after abdominal surgery? A. Identifying signs of bleeding. B. Preventing pressure on the suture site. C. Encouraging use of an incentive spirometer. D. Detecting clinical manifestations of inflammation. The answer is option at identifying signs of bleeding. 25. A healthcare provider informs a client that a T-tube will be in place after an abdominal cholecystectomy and a cholecystectomy. What should the nurse include in the preoperative teaching for this client regarding the primary reason why a T-tube is necessary? Drains bile from the cystic duct. B. Keeps the common bile duct patent. C. Prevents abscess formation at the surgical site. D. Provides a port for contrast dye in a cholangiogram. The answer is option B, keeps the common bile duct patent. 